Hello students, my name is Mr. Ashesi George, your professional lecturer. Okay. In this video, we are going to consider presentation of data, presentation of statistical data. All right. In the last video, we discussed collection of data. We said that uh, data can be collected through questionnaires, through the use of questionnaires, telephone, through telephone calls, okay, through observation, and so on and so forth, okay. So please watch the last video before you continue with this video. Okay, now presentation of data. Like I told you, when data are collected, you don't just gather data. When, that, when data are collected, such data must be presented, must be presented, okay? That's, that's what brings about presentation. You must present what you have collected, okay? So to do that, there are two forms in which data could be collected, uh, presented, okay? That's presentation. So when data are collected, they must be presented. So it brings about data presentation, okay? There are two forms, like I said. Number one, tabular presentation. That is the first thing, tabular presentation, okay? Then number two, we have diagrammatic presentation, diagram. Diagrammatic. That's the use of diagram, okay? The use of diagram. Then this tabular presentation is called, in statistics, frequency distribution. Frequency, frequency distribution, okay? It's called frequency distribution. That is, we make use of tables in form of rows and columns, okay? rows and column to present the data that is collected all right then for diagram we have uh, two forms that is charts it could be in form of charts or graphs okay graphs all right it could be charts so when we say charts let me start with this we have bar charts. There is also pie charts. All right. There is also Z charts. Okay. Then when we talk of graph, we have histogram. Histogram. Okay. We have polygons polygons then we have a uh, hogive and hogive all right we have an hogive then we also have lorenz curve lorenz lorenz sorry lorenz curve okay so these are the uh, major uh, charts or major diagrams that could be tested but majorly we should watch out for histogram or ogif it's very very the two diagrams are common in the exam and i'm going to show you in the subsequent videos okay now coming to uh tabular presentation this tabular presentation could be simple bar charts, uh, sorry, simple table, which is known as ungrouped uh, frequency distribution and grouped frequency uh, distribution, okay? Distribution, all right. So that is when we talk of tabular presentation. Are you with me now? Tabular presentation. Okay. So in the next video, I'm going to show you uh, 
uh, the formats and some terms you need to familiarize with when it comes to tabular presentation. Hope you like the video. If you do, please do share with your friends. I remain your lecturer, Shesi George. Bye for now.